My name is Courtney Gilbert and I'm the Curator of Visual Arts at the Sun Valley Center for the Arts. The exhibition that we have up right now is called I Need to Tell You Something, The Lost Art of Letter Writing and Communication Today. This exhibition is part of the Center's Spring Big Idea Project. Two big questions that we're trying to answer. What happens to our personal histories when we stop writing letters? And the other question, are we really connecting with each other or are we actually lonelier than we've ever been? The exhibition features artwork by seven contemporary artists and as a group they're looking kind of at three different themes. One of those themes is the role of letters as records of our personal histories and also as objects that connect us and help us build our relationships. Tucker Nichols is a painter who thinks that there is something kind of magical about the fact that you can send something across the country or around the world and it'll reach its destination. He was heading to the East Coast to spend the summer in Vermont. Before he left, he told Griff Williams that he'd send him a few postcards. What he wound up sending throughout the summer were hundreds of these really wonderful, curious and, and thoughtful drawings and notes. It's a wonderful archive of their friendship and I think the work really gets at the way that sending letters can help us build our relationships. Another artist who's interested in the idea of letter writing and personal histories is Joe Thurston. For a number of years, Joe has been building sculptures that um, almost look like tomb markers or monuments. The surface begins to take on the appearance of writing itself, as if he's written kind of undecipherable messages. In this case, they hold all the important letters that he's received throughout his life. Letters from his grandmother, letters from friends, there are um, student loan letters. And so for Thurston, these sculptures become his personal histories. They hold, literally hold and contain them. A third artist who's interested in the idea of letters is Elena Del Rivero. Del Rivero was born in Spain and moved to New York in her late 30s. Her latest body of work, Letters from Home, have taken the idea of the letter and kind of made it more about the letter as an object. They're enormous works on canvas that resemble dish towels, and some of them are made of individual brush strokes that almost have a sense of writing or of words that have been crossed out. These new Letters from Home are very much about the idea that the letter contains your memories. A letter can bridge the gap between the sender and the recipient through time and space. Two of the artists in the exhibition are interested in the idea of public versus private in our communication. One of them is Gail Tarantino, who for a few years has been writing letters of admiration to 19th century scientists. She makes these beautiful works on canvas and on paper. They have the kind of layout of a written letter, but instead of words, you see colored dots that represent the letters in words. She's taking something very private and intimate, these, these letters that express her innermost thoughts, and putting them on display for public view. Yet by using this code, they still are intimate um, expressions of her, her personal ideas. We also have a selection of photographs made by Andrew Bush. He's been working on this project for a couple of decades, and so there are envelopes um, of different sizes with different types of closures, and he frames them in antique frames, many of which are related to photography itself. The outside of the envelope is what people see as a letter travels through the mail, and it hides the contents and keeps the contents personal and private. And so he's exploring that line in this body of work. Two of the artists in the exhibition are making work that I think really considers what kind of care we give to our communications and what kind of thought we put into them. We have a selection of works on display by Charles Goot from a series he calls Telegrams. He was fascinated by the fact that the last telegram and the first tweet were both sent in 2006 in the same year. While one would only send a telegram because of the difficulty of, of sending it and the expense in case of emergency or to send very important information, people who have Twitter accounts feel free to send every mundane thought that they have out into the universe to be read by anybody who's interested in it. Goot has taken a series of fairly banal tweets and reformatted them as Western Union telegrams using letterpress prints. And they're very funny commentary on how we share our thoughts with the world and how we communicate today. Mark Dombrowski is an artist based in Michigan who for a number of years has picked up other people's cast off notes or, or greeting cards and he carefully embroiders over the written words using the same colored 
thread as the original ink and the same kind of weight of embroidery as the original handwriting. And thinking about other people's histories, allowing us to fill in narratives as we read these letters and wonder whatever happened to the people who wrote them, sort of reclaiming the handwritten word. So in addition to the exhibition, we've turned our project room into a letter writing room. We've got stationery and pens. We'll give you a stamp if you want to send your letter out. Um, and we hope people will come in, sit down, leaf through some of the guides to letter writing that we have, and, and read some of the prompts we've set out, and take some time to write their own letters. I hope everybody will come in and see the exhibition and spend some time thinking about the way that they communicate with their family and friends and loved ones and think about putting their own thoughts on paper and sharing those with the people that they love.